Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. This video is a little bit different. Do you remember these? Yeah, of course, that's the um, magnificent and stunning Tammy guidebooks from back in the day. If you're a little bit like me and you're in your, I'm going to say in your 40s, but you know, you can be younger, you can be older, and you remember sort of back in the day when you used to go into model shops like Beatties and um, Model Sport and things like that and the little um, TV screen would be showing all the Tamiya promo videos um, of all these superb classics going around in uh, slow motion on the sand with the um, sketchy music in the background um, and then it'd go to still action shots. Well that's what this video is about. Um, I've been doing the running videos for a while now and I'm really trying to improve but as I was doing them um, I just I just came across that when you're editing the video because it's because it's paused and the video's shot in 4k then I can zoom in on the screen and move it to a still picture and as I say because it's 4k the quality's there um, and I came across these cool action shots so I started messing around and um, and just for my benefit I start every time I do a running video I try to get one of the cars coming off the ramp with me in the background. Nerdy, I know, but um, I just like to collect them and sort of just keep them in a little folder of my own. And it's videos are great, don't get me wrong, but it's always nice to have a little sort of snapshot of, in time where I can look back and remember the cars we've had. And if it's if all the cars are doing the same and they're coming off the ramps, it looks pretty cool. So I'll just show you those quickly. It was like the bug is coming off the ramps. Now I'm going to show you like five or six pictures now of what I'm talking about. Um, and for me, it's just cool. I wanted to get myself in the background. So obviously we've got the camera on the tripod and what have you. And it takes loads of attempts to get a picture that's half decent. Now obviously with much better equipment, we could get much better pictures and video. But we're just not at that level at the moment, unfortunately. But I hope you can see what I was trying to achieve. Now these are just for my personal um, collection, like a keepsake. I mean, making videos is awesome. But as I say, a bog standard Tammy Legends running video, they're not great. You know, there's a little car running around and it's in the distance and whatever. And it's quite difficult to get close up to them. Um, but when you do, you know, you, the, the pictures come out amazing. So as I said, I thought that was really cool, to be honest. Um, but then I started to take it a little bit further. And when when I was editing the running videos, I always tried to get a couple, but usually it was like between one and three pictures that were crisp and sharp enough to, when you blow it up, with it, the car sliding around and what have you, and the gravel kicking up. And uh, I absolutely love it. That's kind of, out of everything I do on this channel, that's kind of my thing now. Um, Running videos on this channel don't do particularly well, and I'm not sure why that is. If you guys have got any thoughts on that, please leave it in the comments, because I'd be really interested. Running videos are weird, and especially when you're doing them on your own, it's a ton of work, a ton of editing, and then there's not a lot of payback at the end of it, um, because as I say, the views are kind of quite a bit way down from like a normal bench work video, and yet I would have thought it would have been the opposite. You know, you, you see cars getting bought, restored, built, whatever, all the way through to running them and I kind of thought that's what people would want to see but it turns out it doesn't look like that on, on my channel anyway which is cool because I'm still going to do them because it completes a circle for me so anyway what I've done is um, if you do like the action shots I've put my top 10 together um, which is going to follow now I've got many different pictures of all these different buggies and trucks in action um, but I just try to pick one of each as in the top 10. Some of the early ones are not quite as crisp as they should be, but hopefully as you see it started going down towards my favourite picture, you should see them start to get in, you know, clearer and crisper. Whether the look load on here good enough, I don't know, I can't really control that. But um, anyway, let's have a look. So, in number 10 spot is the Tamiya Lunchbox, and I think this is a great picture. There's a lot going on with it, there's a lot of snow involved, but I just think it kind of depicts the what fun the lunchbox is. In number nine, we've got the Tamiya Super Hot Shot. And again, I just think it just sums up what that buggy's all about. And you know, it's got the backdrop of the clear blue sky and what have you, and the, um, the gravel underneath. I just think it's a great picture. In number eight, we've got the Boomerang. Um, 
I really like that picture. It's it, when they're airborne, it's quite difficult to sort of get it right, and a lot of it depends on the background. And I do get the background wrong a lot of occasions when I'm trying to do this. In number seven, we have the Avante. Now, I had hoped that this would sort of, because it's my favourite Tamiya card, kind of hoped it would be further up there. Um, but I do believe the pictures that you're going to see are actually better. Um, it, it's not about what the car, buggy or truck is. It's about the picture itself. To me, it's a great picture. It um, it just, you know, it's doing what the Avanti does best. It's sitting there, it's going and it's looking badass. Number six, we have the Blackfoot. Um, I think this is one of my best pictures. It's not doing a great deal action-wise. Obviously, it's just coming off the turn, but... When I think back to back in the day about the Blackfoot and it sort of wobbling around or whatever, I just think that picture kind of just sums it up and again, just great fun. In number five, we have the Dirt Thrasher in winter. Again, I really like that picture. It's It was just taken at the right time, obviously snow on the ground, a snowy sky, and it's just a real, it just the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The um, profile of the car is just standing out. Um, and it's a great looking buggy as well. In number four, we have a saloon car. So this is the Tamiya um, TB01 German Rally Car Edition and I just think that picture is epic. Again, there's so much going on with it. There's gravel everywhere, it's hiding a lot of the car, but it just, it's, it's got a high degree of realism to it for me, you know? And in third place comes the DTR2 Sand Viper. I just think, I'm hoping you can see the pictures are sort of getting better and sort of crisper. Um, I just think that just, it's just a quality picture for me, I think. It's something I can look at and just enjoy. It's that, it's that um, snap moment in time, which, which you don't get with video, if that makes sense. You know, you've got this picture, the car was doing what it was doing, it's in action. I just love it. In number two spot is the custom Terra Conquer I did. I absolutely love that picture. Again, there's so much going on with it, um, but I just we got I got close enough. I got the car as close as I could to the when we were creating the video, and I just think it's turned out really well. It's just it's it's just a badass picture. And in number one spot is the last running video I did. It's my 1997 Colin McRae Subaru Impreza World Rally Car. I just think that picture is awesome. And the reason I think it's awesome, and a lot of people have commented on the Facebook group and Instagram, is again the realism of, of that picture. You know, if, you, if, you, if the body parts weren't sticking out of that car, uh, uh, you know, at a quick glance, you just think that's a real rally car. Um, again, I think the background helps, um, obviously with the gravel, but I just think that's probably the best picture I've captured at the moment anyway. Well, there's probably a few of us buggies you've not seen the videos for yet, but they're, uh, they're coming very soon. And at the time of making this, I've also got new running videos, which I've not posted the pictures of yet. So it's a thing I'm going to carry on doing because... Um, I'm nerdy and I love to see a Tamiya buggy or truck in action. Um, so what I've just done now, if you're still interested, I've just put a little um, still picture montage together. It's about two minutes long. Lots of diff lots of different pictures of the different buggies doing different things. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoy this. It's about two and a half minutes long.
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, this is something, as I say, I'm going to keep doing and I'm going to try and master. Obviously, it helps with the better equipment, but we haven't got that yet. Um, so I'm making the best of what we've got. But if you get if you if if you get the conditions on the day right and sort of everything aligns, and you do get one or two really cool shots. Anyway, I just thought I'd post that on on YouTube because you guys don't get to see that stuff. These pictures go on our Instagram page and on the Facebook group. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are not on those platforms, so I thought it'd just be nice just to show you the the other stuff I do behind the scenes of a channel, as it were. Anyway guys, as I say, I hope you enjoyed that. If uh, if you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us on our weekly videos, that'd be awesome. And if you do that, please smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always guys, happy RCing.